Hey guys, it's me, we have Valley Rail Fan, and today I have a video for you guys on my Steam stuff. And no, it is actually not on this, but I do have an update for you on this. Um, I'm gonna put my lathe together, it's in that box right there. Um, I'm going to hopefully uh, get that out soon because I started cleaning off the table over here. So, I'm going to be making some bushes for the uh, bushings for the uh, the boiler here uh, for the two safety valves and the whistle so that they stop leaking this is my big boiler but now I ha it has a little brother I just built this it's not really a little brother but obviously okay well I just built this vertical boiler it has a center flue so, you can kind of see through it. Um, I built this. It took me about two hours, an hour and a half to build. Um, I silver soldered it with an acetylene blowtorch. And I, um, when I was silver soldering it, uh, this is a mess on the bottom here because this is one big glob. One, I didn't heat it enough. When I applied the flux and the solder, it kind of just globbed in one area. And... It, it did go around the end of the copper tube, but then I found that there was, when I stuck this end in the boiler, I mean, when I stuck this bottom end in the boiler after cooling this, to cool this, and the cooling of the boiler created a vacuum, and the holes around this tube sucked in water. So then when I had it upside down, heating this side, steam formed from the heat, and started bubbling through the cracks, so it formed holes in the solder, and it didn't create a seal, so then I had to come back upstairs, or downstairs, I mean, get my drill, and drill a quarter inch hole in the top of the boiler. That's going to be a fitting, though. That's not just going to be a hole. So I drilled a quarter inch hole, and then I tipped it upside down, dumped all the water out. You can see I dumped water on my drawings for the boiler. These are like my test drawings that I kind of did. So... I jumped all the water out and I re I took a wet paper towel, heated up the bottom of the boiler and wiped all the solder off and kind of reapplied some solder and now it looks nice except for all that solder, that little thin, you can't, it's not even really, there's no thickness to it, it's just like, it looks like the copper too has turned into silver, but so, yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a uh, methylated spirits or denatured alcohol-fired boiler. I could make it into a coal-fired boiler very simply by just making a firebox tube down from this bottom piece here, right here at the bottom. Here, I'll put it down so I can kind of explain this better. From down here at the bottom, I can uh, solar solder on a, sh a tube sheet and make a firebox door and I can make it coal fired very very easily but then I'd have to make a hole like uh... oh my god what's it called I'd have to make a uh... uh... what's a manifold uh... off this I'd have to make a manifold for a blower so that I can put a blower up through the tube to draw the fire which is just gonna take more money and too much I could make this right into, I, I'm, I am going to use this boiler, but I'm going to make a coal-fired boiler. Um, I'm working on that right now. I'm not working on it, but I'm working on getting everything together for that. I'm drawing up some stuff and everything. So, this is just my boiler for the steam engines that I just want to play around with. And just my personal, like, desktop boiler that I'll have. So... That's it for this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll have another update video of this little boiler, hopefully in a couple hours, after I get this drilled and tapped and I can put the fitting in, and I'll do a test for you guys. So, keep watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.